welcome to another week on the road with me. Um, if you're new here, I thought I'd do a little intro. I'm Helen and this is my van, Shelley. She is a T4 transporter that has been converted for off-grid adventures and all of that good stuff. I'm currently traveling in her full time and I'm doing the NC500 at the moment. So a couple of days ago, I reached John O'Groats. I'm doing it anti-clockwise. So I went up the East Coast and hit John O'Groats. And this week is gonna be a little bit crazy, I think. I think I'm gonna be absolutely dead by the end of it. But basically, I'm about to set off and I'm going to drive my van onto a ferry, which I've never done before, so I'm kind of nervous but I'm going to ship the van to the Orkney Islands. I will then have around 10 hours to explore Orkney before leaving the van in a secure long stay car park and getting a night passenger ferry from the Orkney Islands to Shetland. It's a seven and a half hour ferry overnight and I haven't paid for a cabin because they were so expensive. And then when I get to Shetland, I will again have about 10 hours to explore Shetland by foot before getting the night ferry back to Orkney, where I will then rescue Shelley and ship Van back to mainland Scotland. This is all happening within 48 hours and there is so much to see and do and so much that could go wrong. But I'm going to set off now and check-in is an hour before departure for this ferry. This first ferry is only an hour long for the crossing to Orkney. So it's not too bad and it's going to be quite a sunny day. So I should be able to have a really decent day of exploring Orkney. But I'm so nervous. I've never driven a vehicle onto a ferry before. <sighs> okay, let's just go. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I'm at the ferry port. I've joined the queue. I don't know if it's the right queue. <laughs> but there's a big sign that says stop, wait here to be checked in. You're not allowed to go up to the reception block, but I think that's just because of COVID. I think normally you would have to walk up and check in, but they're gonna come around to all the cars. The boat's not even here. <laughs> I'm third in the queue. I feel like I'm one of those like mums that make you go to the airport like five hours early that's what i am although it's 20 past eight and it departs at half nine and it said to get there an hour early so i'm only 10 minutes earlier than what i needed to be <laughs> i'm just so nervous <laughs> ah. now checked in I've been put in the van lane which is exciting I don't know why that's exciting got my little ticket I can see the boat pulling in as well now uh, okay we're getting ready to move and drive onto a boat like if you think about boats <laughs> too long i don't know if i think about boats too long it's a bit weird isn't it i'm going to drive my van onto a boat <laughs> anyway i think i'm on the edge of being hysterical i'm excited that's what it is this is exciting i was so excited when i booked it and obviously being on by myself when i book things and i get really excited i'm just like ah! by myself <laughs> it's a bit it's a funny thing. Okay, she's so falling down. Thank Cheers.
drive off the ferry we are at St Margaret's Hope I see if I won't work <laughs> really quick ferry ride actually it's only an hour which is amazing and it was really smooth I'm so lucky that it's a calm sunny day um, yeah I imagine on a stormy day that would not be fun What is this guy doing? Anyway, I'm so excited.
done. Um, so yeah, not a bad office. The adventure continues. So I stayed at Newark Beach a bit, but the signal kept dropping out. So I couldn't stay there as long as I wanted to. But I am heading to a really cool stone circle. Um, and there's actually quite a few different stone circles or like stone monuments all like quite close together. Um, so I'm gonna go have a look at them. Sounds quite cool. very windswept oh my god I, I don't know um yeah five thousand year old stones to worship the supernatural welcome to the orkney islands <laughs> although i feel like all stone circles are like that aren't they there's loads in the peak district i like coming to see them even though they're just a bit random aren't they but yeah, cool. There was a seal as well. Not at the stone circle. <laughs> Across the road. But I didn't get it on camera. I mean, when I first saw like the first seals, I was like, ah, oh, seals. But they're actually everywhere up here. <laughs> you see them a lot. The next task is to look at Google Maps and see what else there is about. Because there are lots of cute little coves and bays and stuff but there's nothing else built up around them so you drive there and it is then literally just a beach there's nothing else there um and a lot of the time there's not signals so yeah just have a look and see where else i want to head what time is it now quarter past three so um got a few hours left in the day plenty of time to do something um what i don't know i will let you know <laughs> you'll know when i know Okay, I've decided where I'm going. Um, there is some ruins of a palace, something like that, near here. So I'm gonna go have a look at that. I did try and see um, the ruins of a prehistoric village. Apparently, it's like the most re preserved something village. I don't know, Neo Neolithic village, something like that, um, in Europe. But they wanted £12 to go in and see it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a tight ass, but 12 quid to go and have a look at some old crumbly village. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> uh, whereas you can see a palace, ruins of a palace for free. So that's what we're going to go and do. impressive ruins are the former residence of Robert Stuart, half-brother of Mary Queen of Scots and who became Earl of Orkney in the late 1500s. He was a notoriously harsh Earl and the gun holes at ground level in every wall of the palace are thought to suggest he was expecting trouble. The palace was abandoned in the 1700s and has been left a ruin ever since. 
This place is impressive. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know what that camera angle was. Sorry if that made you feel sick. <laughs> exploring that palace that was really cool i'm aware that i describe everything as really cool and it's because i used to always say amazing everything was amazing so i tried to change it and now everything's really cool but it was <laughs> it's still so sunny and it's actually kind of warm when you're out of the wind anyway but it's now half four so i'm gonna head towards kirkwall which is like the main town on Orkney so that I can see it um, whilst there's still daylight and I'll probably just stay that way for the rest of the evening, have some dinner, do some more work and just wait it out for the ferry. The ferry's not until quarter to midnight. Check-in will be an hour before that. So I've got a long evening of waiting for that. seems really nice unfortunately everything seems to have closed around like four-ish so I kind of missed the shops being open but we got pizza my plan is to work really late eat loads of pizza make myself really sleepy and then hopefully I'll sleep on the ferry it's a few hours later now I've done some work I've eaten all my pizza I was gonna save some that didn't happen uh, and I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, I've still got hours to wait. But that's good, I guess. If I'm tired now, then if I keep working, and I'll just proper tire myself out. And then any work that I do tonight, I'm just going to recheck again in the morning. Because <laughs> my tired brain, I'm not sure it's going to make much my tired brain i'm not sure it's gonna make much sense to be honest i shit you not i was at the wrong ferry port <laughs> i have just been sat for like four hours at the wrong ferry port <laughs> honestly i have just frantically driven further along the coast oh my gosh luckily I realized well I've still got a bit of time to sort myself out oh my God. well I was sleepy and now my heart is racing so fast I'm definitely not sleepy oh my god as if that's just happened. I was thinking, I can't see the boat. It's still not coming to port. And I was like, hang on, let me check. Wrong port. Now I feel like I'm gonna forget something because I'm frantic. Okay, after that stress, Piled up, I got all sorted. I've been pointed in the right direction. I can see the boat. <laughs> I'm at the right port. Let's get checked in and find somewhere comfy on the boat. Yeah. 
serve one of these because there's hardly anyone on the boat. You didn't have to pay, I could just grab one if it didn't have a reserve ticket on it. I'm hoping they dim the lights when we set off, but I'm not really sure. The boat is massive. This is by far the biggest boat I've ever been on. a little bit of shelter because it is so windy on Shetland today which is a shame because I bought my drone and I don't think I'm going to be able to get up in the air but anyway I survived the ferry I think I got maybe two or three hours sleep so I am a bit knackered <laughs> it was really choppy during the night and a lot of people around me were being sick and the waves were crashing over the top of the front deck and it was just it's quite scary i've never been on a boat that big or in really choppy seas before but luckily i didn't get sick and i think i slept through most of the, like the worst bit it's really windy so sorry you can't really hear what i'm saying very well but the first stop in shetland is the nab now a scenic viewpoint, just a short walk from Lerwick, the NAB is recognised as a former defence platform built during World War II. It housed three torpedo tubes and provided protection for the nearby harbour. don't have very long to explore and I'm by foot I've not hired a car I did have a look because one website said 20 quid but classic case so when you click on it it's then actually like 80 quid so I've not booked a car the next place that I'm heading to is called the Rock of Clickermin I think <laughs> I normally end up saying these names wrong but um, it looks like some ruins on the edge of a lock which looks quite cool and it's like 20 minute walk so I'm gonna try and go there The Brock of Clickerman sits on the shore of Clickerman Lock on the outskirts of Lerwick. It is recognised as one of the best examples of a brock, which is a round house made of stone only found in Scotland. It has evidence of settlement spanning over a thousand years. It looks so windswept. Um, I just spent the last couple of hours bimbling around the town, sat in a cafe for a while and did some work. But it's so windy that I just needed to take some shelter. Even though I didn't have a car, I feel like I've still seen a fair amount today. My legs absolutely kill. I haven't checked how many steps I've done. I'll have a look. But yeah, it's been a really good day exploring what I can by foot. But I'm now at the ferry terminal. Time to check in and get back on the ferry to Orkney. Checked in and no waiting. They're getting everyone straight on the boat, so off I go. No way, look at that boat. Look at that boat. 
Helen. Would be better if it was Helen Louise, but. in Orkney walking to go and pick up Shelley from the long stay car park I'm so tired I'm just gonna pick up the van find somewhere to park and just get to sleep ASAP uh, my ferry back to mainland is tomorrow morning so the adventure still is not yet over I am knackered Back at Shelley. It has been 24 hours and it feels like it's been forever. Oh, I forgot I left pizza boxes all over the place. For a bit of context, time wise, I boarded the ferry from Orkney to Shetland at quarter to midnight last night. Got a seven and a half hour night ferry to Shetland. Arrived there at 7 30 this morning. Spent all day exploring, then at half five, boarded the ferry back to Orkney. It is now quarter to midnight. So, exactly 24 hours. <laughs> to include two seven and a half hour ferries. And to cram in as much as I could on foot on Shetland. I have a park up pinned that looks quite good for tonight it's about 10 minute drive away and then it's only a 20 minute drive away from the ferry port that i need to be at tomorrow morning yeah i'm just gonna go there and get to bed so i'll probably see you guys in the morning good morning from the beach i stayed at scarpa beach last night on orkney which is on park for night and it's good it's a free beach car park there's public toilets that were open all night there were a few boy races but they did leave um, not long after i arrived so it wasn't too bad it's really pretty i'm just gonna get ready and then head over to uh, st margaret's hope which is where i'm getting the ferry um, back to mainland stop on the way to the ferry because I've been told that I have to go to Argo's Bakery. It's basically Scotland's version of Greg's. They're everywhere. They're on mainland Scotland as well but I have been recommended to stop there for breakfast at some point so I thought why not do it on the way to the ferry. They didn't have any of the traditional Scottish pastries that I wanted to try there wasn't any fresh tatty scones or butteries. There wasn't even any croissants or breakfast items. It was all pies and donuts. So I bought a donut, which looks really nice, but it's 9 a.m. So I don't really want to eat a donut right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, a little bit disappointed by that. I don't know whether that is just this Argos or if all Argos are like that. But I thought that that would be the place to get the fresh scottish pastries but maybe i'll go to one on mainland and see uh see if i can try those things somewhere else anyway i need to drive to the ferry port because <laughs> i do not want to miss my ferry
Hello. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, not too bad. Been checked in. I've got my boarding pass, and now it's just a case of waiting. The boat's not even here, so just got to sit for a while. Been moved into the van lane, which kind of feels like the naughty corner because you get ushered out of the main queue with all the cars and kind of stuck over to the side a bit. <laughs> This trip has gone so fast. It was always going to be a 48 hour quick fire kind of trip, but I've blinked and I'm back on the ferry to mainland. But I would definitely recommend doing Orkney if you're doing the NT500 because it's only the hour on the ferry from the mainland. But I would probably only say to do Shetland if you really want to do Shetland and maybe if you budget to hire a car, but Shetland's amazing and even though I didn't have a car I still feel like I saw so much so I think if you wanted to see things further out from Lerwick then absolutely hire a car but just expect to have to pay a fair amount for it just for the day um, I guess when you're on a tiny island there's not a lot of competition you can charge what you want because people are gonna pay it um, except for me I didn't because I'm a tight ass but I had always planned to do Shetland by foot and not hire a car. I only considered it briefly because I saw an advert that said they were £20 for the day. So then I thought, well, that's worth it. But actually, yeah, it wasn't. It would have been over £80 for me to use it for the day, plus then petrol on top of it and stuff. So I decided not to. I literally had like four or five hours to spare to have used the car so it just didn't seem worth it but yeah it's been an awesome trip and it hasn't actually cost that much if you're wondering the ferry to ship the van from mainland to orkney was 140 pound for the return um and then the ferry from orkney to shetland was 35 pound return that was just as a passenger though um i did look at how much it would cost to put the van on the overnight ferry to shetland and that would have been like an extra 350 to 400 pounds just to take the van across to Shetland. But the adventure doesn't even stop there because when I get back to mainland, I am then continuing the NT500. So I'll be heading towards Thurso and continuing further along to the northwest side of it, which I'm told is the best part of it. So super excited. Thank you for watching this week's video it's been the highlight of my scotland trip so far please subscribe if you like the video and to keep me company on the road next week i'll be rejoining the nc500 and heading to the beautiful landscapes of the west side of the route see you next week